Hey guys, welcome to our sleepy homestead where everybody is lounging around. Or learning new little things. Or just being a bun. So there's new stuff going on in the homestead. New animals and new things going on in the garden. So let's follow Bun and we'll see what's happening. Not super exciting here, but I'm just showing you what uh, I'm using in the garden to keep the flying bad guys away. These are just spinning flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I put them on the poles all around the garden to just kind of deter bad guys. I put some weed block in and around my beds and I'm going to put some uh, mulch down to keep the weeds out, but I wanted to hang on to these strawberries if I could. These are just wild strawberries, but I thought if I could keep them and keep the chickens and the bunny away from them, maybe we could get a few little strawberries this year. As I'm scouting around the garden to see what's happening, I'm finding that my carrots are coming up in my carrot bed. There's all kinds of little sprouts coming up all over. I am putting plastic over the top to keep the seeds and the dirt moist while these germinate. I took my extra onions that I had left over from my blue barrels and I planted them all around the outside of this bed. I'm not sure if I'm going to put tomatoes or peppers in here yet, but they are starting to come up as you can see there all around the edges. And I'm pretty excited. My potatoes that I planted in my grow bags are all starting to sprout and come up through the soil. So it looks like a few of them I can probably put a little bit of dirt on top right there and get the, the soil built up in those. Here's some sunflowers and marigolds. Again, same thing here. And I had to get my zucchini in the dirt. They were starting to flower and full of buds. And so I planted two of them in these barrels that Scott and I put together last week and filled it with dirt. And compost. So after a week and a half I guess my onions are sprouting up through my blue barrels which look really awesome. They're all doing very well. I have some just some straw down in there to help keep the soil mo moist and whatever I can find. I've got to get some more to put around my other plants. But here's my potatoes that I also planted probably a week and a half two weeks ago. They were the sprouted ones that were from my basement and though that one there, those I think I planted three there that were the red potatoes that I purchased that are in the grow bags as well. So those are really doing very well and I'm going to have to put some dirt around those a little bit, hill those up. And I wanted to show you my garlic. Oh my word, that has sprouted up so crazy big. I have put some blood meal around them and watered them in, and we've also gotten a lot of rain. So they've gotten fed, and they need that, which is great. So I'm excited about my garlic. So in order to get the most out of my potatoes, I did plant these in the ground, so I shouldn't have to hill them up too much but I do want to hill them up some and see what we can get for a yield on our potatoes. So I'm just going in between each row and pulling the dirt where we walk, pulling it up into my potato plants to get them uh, hilled up a little bit. And then I also mixed up some dirt and compost so that I can uh, put some on the bigger plants because there's a few that are bigger than others and uh, This also helps weed in between the rows so that we don't get so much uh, grass and stuff in between each 
to cover up the potatoes. So this also helps with that. So I'm taking the soil and compost that I mixed up earlier and just putting it around some of the plants that are a little bit bigger than some of the others. They don't all need this much dirt yet, but I'm sure in about a week they'll be sprouted back up through the dirt and I will need to do this again. So I just mixed up a big cart full and I'm just going to just keep filling in around the potatoes. soil over the top of my red potatoes that I have in these grow bags. I put two potatoes per bag and uh, they're coming up through so that's exciting. Now you can see those and I'm just covering them over a little bit and again in probably I don't know three or four days to a week those should start poking out again and I'll just add some more dirt. This part of the potatoes is more important to get covered over than in the garden because they aren't very deep. So Bun Bun's been pretty happy running around. At least the snow is gone and the grass is growing and greening up and she is having a blast running around and finding things to munch on. I thought I'd try this dandelion and see if she would eat it and she said no thank you. Dandelion? Her favorite treat right now is uh, dried banana chips so she gets those quite often. She leaves me little poop piles all over the yard, some places where she digs and lays down so I just go around and find those little piles and put them, add them to my soil for the garden. We have two new little chicks that hatched oh about a week ago. They are just little fluff balls and so adorable and Mama is doing a good job taking care of them and taking them outside and teaching them all that they need to learn while they're out there. Well, I hope you enjoyed checking out what's happening around here. Everything's greening up and we're getting our leaves and the animals seem to be very happy about that. So thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.